So hello my little butterflies, in this video it's gonna be my January TBR. So you guys, this month I want to read 8 books. That's uh, a little more than usual, at least like full size books, because usually when I hit that 7 book mark a month, it's usually because I read a lot of graphic novels or poetry that month. But these are pretty full size books. I think I only have one, one um, collection of poetry on here, and I think I only have... Um, one graphic novel on here but all the other six books are like full-size books and um, another thing is I wasn't planning on doing it but I was thinking about it I decided I'm gonna do it coming up this well next week from the 8th to the 14th it's gonna be the bounce of book um, readathon and at first I wasn't gonna do it because I'm like I never I don't think I ever have time to do a readathon and then when I realized that the bounce of book readathon it doesn't have any like prompts or challenges it's pretty much you read as many books as you think you can read in a week you kind of like push yourself to see if you can read more than just like your normal you know one or two books in a week and I'm like, you know what, I think I can do that because I don't have to try to find books to fit into challenges. I can just read, try to read as many books off of my TBR for the month that week and see what I can get done that week. So, um, these eight books, I already started reading one of them. Um, this month in January, I kind of had a plan. I wanted to kind of read a couple of self-help novels this month just to start like the year off like that because I don't usually read self-help but I had like two of them on my shelf and I also had I, at least one other one that I for sure wanted to read like I've been wanting to read it since it came out but I just never got to it like I never went to pick it up but this one is going to be the month that I'm going to do it so the first book I'm going to talk about is the book that I actually have started already and that is I Don't Belong to You, Quiet the Noise and Find Your Voice by Kiki Palmer. Well, I technically haven't started on it. I just put my bookmark in it, but I'm going to start on it today because um, I just finished Alalira yesterday and I'm going to do my review for that today as well. But um, this, this book just came out last year. I think it came out around August, September. But I found this on accident. I just happened to be on Amazon and Amazon was advertising for it. And I was like, wait, when the hell did Kiki Palmer write a book? Because I I love Kiki okay so I didn't know she wrote a book so when I saw I immediately got it because I'm like I love Kiki I have to get this book and when I first saw, I was like has this been out there like okay it just came out so I'm not too far behind but I didn't pick it up but um I think this is going to be a very fun read it's only 200 and like 70 something pages well I'm sorry 200 and 97 pages actually so I think it looks like a pretty short book but it's a very beautiful book um, like the, these words, like for the synopsis of it, is like kind of like ombre effect. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then, like the book itself is full of like little emojis, and like they have like pages with quotes on them that are just so pretty, you guys. Like, I just think this book is beautiful, and I think I'm gonna enjoy reading it. I think I'm gonna have a fun time reading it. Do I think this is gonna bring like a new meaning to my life? Probably not, but I'm probably gonna look at it like look at it and like examine my own life because you know kiki is a millennial and i'm a millennial so maybe looking at her experiences and looking at my, at my experiences and just you know looking how she what she walked away from her experiences with maybe i will feel the same way after i read it and i'm like you know what that's a good way to look at that situation so i'm excited to read this i'm very pumped up and i just I love Kiki. I can't believe she wrote a freaking book. So I'm going to read this. I'm going to let you guys know what I really thought about this book because I'm excited to read it and I'm hoping that it does not let me down because I have high expectations for this since this is Kiki. So, you know. Then the next book that I want to read, I'm not sure if I'm going to read in this order, but I wanted to start off with the books I actually have with me. And it is You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. And I've had this book for a couple of months. I think I've bought this in like one of my last hauls I did. I did a part one and a part two. It's one of, in one of those hauls I got this book and I just, the title is what drew me in. It, it <laughs> The title is what drew me in and I really heard about this from um, Kishan from the book Ar Archer <laughs> and that made me go look at it. So I'm like that's a good ass title so I want to check this out. I think honestly I think after reading this I think this is going to like really boost me like boost my confidence and like just like confirm to myself 
like just reassuring myself that you could do whatever you want to do like you're as bad as you want to be and you can really accomplish anything that you want to accomplish and i think this book is going to do it for me now like i said i don't read myself up so i don't know how i'm going to like take to these books because i don't read too much of it so i don't know how i'm going to take to this genre this is like going to be my first step into that genre you guys know i read a little bit of everything but i've never went into this genre so we're going to see if I like it. Like I said, I don't think these books are going to make like make me like completely change the way I go through life. But it might just, this one in particular might just, you know, kind of boost my confidence and make me feel like, you know, you can do whatever you want to do no matter what the obstacle is. So we'll see. Then the third book that's on my TBR is going to be King's Cage by Victoria ABR. <laughs> and I put this on my damn TBR every month and I never open it. But... War Storm is coming out in May, so I need to read this and give it to my fiance so I don't, you know, prolong his wanting to read this because he didn't want me to give it to him first, and I said, no, you take too long to read books. I'm going to read it first, and we'll give it to you, and then I'm the one that, I got this when it came out, and I'm the one that just read it. It's not like nothing is wrong with it. I'm just, like I said, I'm just scared of what's going to happen. I'm scared it's going to hurt my heart. I'm just scared when I want to push this at the wall. Like, I'm really scared, but I have to get through that because the fourth book is coming out. This is the third book in the Red Queen um, series, if you guys don't know. If you guys don't know, I love Red Queen. So, um, yeah, go check Red Queen out. I definitely recommend that. If you guys have not read it yet, I don't know where you've been. You need to read it. But this is going to be the third book on my TBR. Then the fourth book that I have on my TBR is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. And I'm going to be listening to this on an audio book that I am borrowing from my library through like the little library app Hoopla. If you guys don't know that, I think that's a really great app because you could do um, ebooks and audiobooks through that app. And I have been wanting to read this since it first came out, but I never like, I never just you know checked it out or anything i was gonna buy it and i was like i might as well check it out from the library because you know whatever it's not really a thing i get into but i know i've heard a lot of people say that it's uh funny so it's probably gonna give me a laugh i just haven't had good luck with audiobooks just because it feels like it takes so long yeah. it takes longer to get through than me physically reading it but i think with something like this it's gonna be like I think it's going to be better to actually listen to it because Amy Poehler herself is reading it. So I think it's going to be better to listen to her, you know, speak for her experiences than me physically reading it. I think I might enjoy it better. But we'll see. Um, I have enjoyed, like, listening to, like, Jane Eyre on audiobook, even though it did take me a long time to listen to it. I think I would have done better listening to it than actually reading it. I probably wouldn't have liked it as much trying to read it. Um, I tried to listen to And I Darken, but it was taking too long. The narrator was great, but it was taking too long, so I just went out the physical book and read it. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm trying to get it together with audiobooks, because there are a lot of audiobooks on this app, like, of good books, like, Three Dark Crime, new books that have come out, great audiobooks on there, and I want to get into the audiobook world if I could just get through the fact that I have to really just sit there and, like, <laughs> listen to somebody else read to me. The fifth book on my TBR is Rat Queens, Volume 1, by Curtis J. Wait Webb. I don't know how you say last name. I want to say Webb, but there's an I in there, so it may be, uh, Weave. This is a graphic novel, and this has been out for a while. A lot of people have been going crazy about this on BookTube, and I did want to pick it up, but I didn't want to buy it, because I'm, like, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to like. So I figured I just want to, like, check it out and see first. So I'm going to be checking this out also through as, like, an ebook form. And we're going to see how I like that. I'm probably going to read that while I'm reading Kiki. But um, since it's a graphic novel, I usually read those while I'm reading something else. But we'll see. Then number six on my list is Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella. Which comes out next month. I think it comes out February 6th. I know it comes out next month at the beginning of the month. I really would have to check to see what day it is. I'll put it on the screen. But I was supposed to read this last month. But I didn't get to a lot of books from last month. I only read one book. And I was supposed, I didn't finish all of Lyra last month. But I finished it this month. So I'm not going to count that with that wrap up. But I only read one book last month. Which is why I didn't do a wrap up. I was just included with my January wrap up. Because it's only one book. It's not like it was like a big deal. But this is the book that I did get from NetGalley. And I didn't even know I was going to get it until it like emailed me and asked me if I wanted it. And I was like, like right, I'm going to get it. So I went to NetGalley and I got it. 
um, was supposed to read it last month, didn't get to it, but I'm definitely going to get to it this month because it comes out next month, and I do want to do my review around the time that it comes out a little bit before, but around that time. And this is basically, this is Chitlick. Everybody knows Sophie Kinsell is a Chitlick author, and this is basically about this, like, perfect couple that, you know, figures out that they don't know if they really, like, how they're going to be together because they think they're boring because everything is so perfect. So, um, it's like secrets are going to come out and is it, it's more going to be like, is it going to make or break their relationship? I personally think it's going to bring them closer together, seeing that everything is, they're going to see that everything is not so perfect, that they don't always have to be so perfect, but we'll see. The seventh book that I want to read this month is The Attribute of Poetry by Elisa Galgut. I'm pretty sure that was wrong. But that is my collection of poetry that I want to read this month. I'm not really sure too much about what it's about, but the cover was very beautiful. And I see really good um, reviews about it that people say that the words are very beautiful and you're going to want to reread this. And so, yeah, I want to see it. It looks like it's very, like, simple, but it looks like it's very, like... Like, looking from the cover, it seems like it's simple, but at the same time, it seems like um, it really grabs you emotionally. That's what it seems like. So, yeah, we'll see about it. I'm probably going to read this also with something else because it's a collection of poetry. And, you know, collections of poetry isn't really something long that you really need to read by yourself. So, I'll probably read this along with something else. Not sure. And the last book that is on my TBR for this month is it's Paper Butterflies by Lisa Heathfield. And when I read the synopsis of this book, I figured that it kind of compared, like for me, it compared to Sugar by Deidre Orton Hall. And I did do a review for that. I'll leave it linked at the bottom or in the eye. It's about this girl named June. It's about how the relationship she has with her stepmother and her stepsister is not good at all. But it's like a secret. And like even her dad doesn't know about what's going on between them. And it's like basically she can't, she feels like she can't find the words to tell him what's going on until she meets this boy blister sorry I don't I don't like that name I don't think I want to talk to any boy his name is blister but his name is blister and he comes from like a chaotic family and getting to know him makes her feel like more comfortable and it's like basically giving her the the want to talk about whatever it is that's going on between her stepmother and her stepsister but it doesn't expect it doesn't specify exactly what it is that's the problem and that's what's drawing me to it because like I want to know what the hell is going on between her her stepmother and her stepsister today she can't even tell her dad and that it's so bad she doesn't know like how to explain this so I like am kind of excited to know what is the deal and what's going on and I just feel like it's going to be something that's going to like blow my mind and just the fact that what first drew me to this was the fact that butterfly was in the name and I was like okay let's go let's get into this and I think the cover is beautiful in its own way and it's not anything like extra it's like a very simple cover it's not anything that's crazy so um yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that book and I'm definitely going to read that um so I think this bounce of book um readathon is going to really help me get through a lot of these books because I want to try to like push myself to get through more than one book that week Maybe I'd be so happy if I get through like three books that week. Like I would be like proud of my freaking self. So that starts the eight through. That starts from the eight and it goes all the way to the fourteenth. I'm going to link the uh, about the book blog page down below as well as this Twitter page so you guys can get information if you guys want to do it. Everything on my TBR for the month is going to be my TBR for that readathon because I want to try to get through as many books that I have this month in that week. And we will see how my first readathon goes, you guys. Like I'm so excited. This is like my first readathon. I'm so excited. I just. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to vlog like through my readathon like every day, like yeah. tell you guys where I'm at. I don't know. I never, I've never really vlogged before, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Um. So yeah, those are all the books that I want to read this month in January. Let me go. Let me. You know, <laughs> oh my God. Let me know down below in the comments what books you guys are planning on reading this month, or if any you have read any of the books that I want to read this month, and let me know how how you guys rated them, how you liked them. Did you think they were good or worthy? And if there's some things I should be looking out for. And I will let you guys um, go ahead on with the rest of your day. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Your location, let's ride the vibrations I don't need.